quick Growing up in Florida, it was sort of slim pickings where we were from for artistic interaction. So anything that came to town was a big deal. My family and I were able to always go to the Florida Orchestra as a kid. I would see the pop series. I would see different, you know, um, artists or acts really kind of interact that way. And so I really saw the power of entertainment at a very young age, not through dance, but through these other mediums. I think the first ballet I ever saw was Tarantella. And I remember I wrote in my program how many stars after each one, I kind of rated it. I had given Tarantella, I think, the dance five stars and the dancer four stars. I was an active kid who was doing martial arts and gymnastics and convinced I was gonna be the next Ninja Turtle. Uh, that didn't work out so well, but uh, fell in love with dance. I had one teacher who taught me how to dance and I had another teacher who taught me how to love it. So I don't know if this is funny or embarrassing, but we were doing a ballet by Christopher Wielden. We had this huge finale section, beautiful music, and um, I start one count too soon. So I'm jumping, everyone else is on the ground. I go back on the ground, everyone else is jumping. And so it was just, and I could not seem to get resynced up on this. I think one of our ballet masters had come back afterwards and was like, that was one of the best times we ever saw that. I was just giving it all, but giving it wrong, so. Outside of work, there's a project that I'm involved in um, called Dance Against Cancer. It is all about people giving their hearts and their talent and time pro bono to give back to the, to the actual dance and cancer community. I lost my mother to cancer two years ago. You know, art can not only create a relief, it could be an opportunity to celebrate people who are going through various um, stages of this and who've survived it, maybe to honor someone who they've lost. When I'm not dancing, I'm teaching. I, I, it's very much a second passion. There's no handbook on this profession. It's passed down by stories and knowledge and experiences. And I've been so blessed in my career to be able to traverse this country and the world and to be inspired by all these people. I hope to dance and be um, able to lay tracks for others who've done that for me. My name is Daniel Ulbrich, and I'm a principal dancer with the New York City Ballet.